Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudia Mir here. Let's talk today about types of camera and lenses. As you can see, I have a traditional dome camera. It has this name because of this traditional dome that protects the camera. And I have different types of cameras here that I can show you today. So we stick to the end, then you're gonna learn a lot, all right? Back to this camera, it's a dome one. As you can see, I can connect a cable here using the RG45 connector with a UTP cable. This is an IP camera, so you can power the camera using PoE, or you can connect a power supply to the camera. Depending on the model, this one just work with PoE, okay, power over Ethernet. And here you can insert a SD card to the camera, so you can record videos inside of the camera as well, and also on the NVR. When you have the cable connected, you connect to your network, and then you have a ne network video recorder, the NVR. You can record there as well. This camera has fixed lens, as you can see in the center. This lens cannot be changed, so the angle is what it is. If you have like open angle, it works that way. If like a little bit closed, it works that way. You cannot change it. It's not a lens that you can adjust, right? And you have a protection rubber when you connect, uh, when you put the dome here to now reflect the IR back to the lens. There's this rubber here. So it's pretty important to keep this rubber in place. And here, as I was saying, you have the LEDs for infrared illumination, okay? So you can change the position. Here you can rotate and you can do the tilt up and down. So you, you don't do this remotely, right? This is not a lens that has motor inside. No, no, you just need to adjust by hand when you start the camera. So you have like some holes here that you can put the screws and put the camera in place. And then you adjust the camera to position and it just come and you close with this dome. Okay, and let it there. So let's talk about another type of camera, traditional one. This is a box camera professional one okay as you can see this you can change lenses so this is a very focal lens you can adjust the distance between the lens and the sensor so you can open the angle close the angle and zoom in and zoom out you also adjust the lens on the position and leave it there it's not a remote connection that you can adjust the lens whatever you want no it's not like that you just adjust the lens and leave it there working with the angle that you want here you have a thread to connect uh, the camera in a different position. As you can see, you have one here and one here, okay? And also a microphone, this model, for example, an internal microphone. And you also have options here to connect different types of microphones. As you can see, you have audio out to connect the speaker and audio in. So you can connect external microphone, professional one, if you want to. And then there's a reset button here and also connection for power. You can connect power or you can just use UTP cable and connect a cable to power the camera from here, not using this. Or you can use both as a redundancy, right? It works like this as well. As well, here you have alarms and also video out for analog connection. You can also connect to this to a DVR. So you connect at the same time to a network video recorder and VR and DVR from this connection here. Okay, and also SD card, you can use SD card on this camera. So pretty simple and also you can use uh, just the focus here on the camera. Box camera, traditional one. And now this one is a bullet, also a traditional camera. In this case, it's a mini bullet from high vision, as you can see. And you have just this lens in front of the camera. It's also a fixed lens, you cannot change it. The angle, it is what it is. What you have there cannot change it, okay? Traditional IP camera as well. As you can see, there's the cable and you can connect here to your network and you can power the cable using power over ethernet or you can use a power supply here, 12 volts, okay? Connect directly to the camera here using power supply. Traditional one, mini bullet, okay? And talking about bullet, you also have this, another one, it's, a, it's bigger, okay? It's a bullet, traditional bullet, also with the lens here, in front of the camera, fixed lens, you cannot change it, and the infrared light here, so it works at night. Pretty good, professional one as also. This one is from Samsung or Hawa Techwing, okay? And here you have the connection. You have cable to connect to 
to the network. And for this mod, you have also the traditional connection with uh, analog to analog DVR, for example, you can connect from here. Okay, you can also power the camera using PoE, or you can use something like a power injector. Okay, when you connect IP cameras to the network, you can use power injector like this one. Here, connect the cable for power, and the other side, there's a connection to the camera. So that powers the camera, and that goes to your network. So basically, you have your camera working, the data comes here and goes to your network. This is a power injector, traditional for cameras, for IP cameras, or you can use a switch with PoE power injector as well, okay? Next one, let's talk about this fisheye camera. As you can see, it has a fisheye lens here on the center. So you can capture everything that you see at the same time. There is no blind spot for a fisheye camera. It captures everything and then the image goes to the memory and then you can play with the image later, okay? Let me just show an example here of, of a fisheye camera that I have. So that's the image that you can get from the camera. So basically the camera is working here, okay? So the camera captures everything and then you can play with the image later, all right? So pretty good one, fisheye camera. And then let's talk about a traditional pan tilt and zoom camera. This is a PTZ camera. Okay, let me just put it here so you can see better. It's a big one, okay guys? So here you have this camera that moves. As you can see, there's this lens here in front of the camera. And then the camera can move, you can do this movement. It's a pan and tilt, okay? This is a big camera here, so it cannot fit on my <laughs> video because it's a big one, right? This is also from Samsung or Hawa Techwing. And I have an example of this camera here. Let me just show you on the, on the screen. So here you go. This is the Amicrest camera PTZ. So I can control with pan. I move this way or this way. Okay, tilt, up and down. So up, down, and zoom. That's why the name is PTZ, it's pan, tilt, and zoom. Okay, you can control the camera like this. Pretty good one, professional camera, PTZ camera. And then you have other cameras like not professional camera. This is a consumer camera like Wise Can, for example. Pretty simple, fixed lens as well. You have infrared on this camera. And this camera you just connect here to the power. And then you can connect to uh, your system wirelessly, okay? This is not like a camera that I use cable. Simple one, pretty cheap camera. Okay, I'm talking about price, not quality. The quality is good, but it's a cheap camera and works pretty well, right? And you have like other cameras like this one, also consumer camera. This is the Real Link Duo. It connects to the network via Wi-Fi. And here you have two lenses, okay? It captures the image at the same time. So you have 180 degrees camera combine the image from the two lenses so it works pretty well and it's also a camera that uh, the price is not that high you can buy this camera and it's pretty good for a lot of applications especially for your home or small office is a consumer level camera okay so pretty good as well okay so that's just an overview of the security cameras if you want to understand more about cameras please leave your comments here what camera you want me to talk more about and also, you can subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, right? So, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.